Hey, welcome back everybody. I just got in from my ride on my mountain bike and I had some new goodies waiting for me for my road bike. Um, so I've already gone ahead and I took the wheel off and then out of the wheel, took the skewer out. Why? Because I got a new cassette. We're going to upgrade from a little baby to the big papa. So stay tuned. And let's get into this project. All right, so obviously tires off. Now, I have a Shimano 105 group set on here. <clears throat> the derailleur is good for up to a 28 tooth cassette. So this sucker here is a 34. So what's on their factory, or at least what was on my wheel, was a 23. I live in the mountains. Good luck with that sucker so i could take it out and do the velodrome and stuff like that and i'm all right but trying to commute and stuff it just the 23 ain't cutting it for me so i decided to go with 34 it's still a little on the conservative side as far as what some people are running out there but i didn't want to go too hog wild if i decide later on and i want a little more then i can try a little more or i can go to a uh, different crank and change that up so with this only being good for 28, you're asking, well, how's that going to work then? Because either a short cage or medium cage derailleur is just not going to work with something bigger. I need a, uh, a different derailleur. Well, enter the spacers. You can get these from Wolf Tooth. This is a Risk. I got this off of Amazon. You can get them anywhere. They're Amazon, Wish, AliExpress. Everybody sells these things. Uh, the Wolf Tooth one runs about $20. Wolf Tooth, usually good name brand product. Um, this I went with Risk. So maybe I'm taking some risk, but hey, had good reviews. It was relatively inexpensive. I'll leave a link for it in the description below if you want to check it out. And uh, what this does is instead of your derailleur mounting to your derailleur hanger, this mounts to the derailleur hanger, then your derailleur mounts to this here. So well, sit here and act as a spacer dropping your derailleur a little lower so you can then run the larger sprockets on your on your cassette so we're going to get into this comes here it's got the threaded insert and everything so you can do the whole job on it we're going to get into this sucker you're also going to need a longer chain so don't forget that so that's going to be very important because going with the log with the larger cassette on there, more tooth, bigger size. It's not gonna work anymore. So, because you're gonna, you're gonna stretch it out too much. So you're gonna have to make sure you get a new chain. <clears throat> For me, I went, saved a little money, went with the KMC. I always like KMC chain. Um, I'm not really a fan of chain I didn't like, but I know KMC makes a good chain. I went with the X9, nine speed chain. Obviously I have nine speed on here, so. Comes with the master link on there, like everybody likes the missing link style master link. So, we're gonna install that last and uh, shouldn't need any adjustments on the gears. I might need to tweak it a little bit to set it up, but <clears throat> let's get into this. We're gonna look at the wheel and we're gonna get that cassette off first. All right, so we've got the wheel here. You're gonna need a couple things. Um, these I got from Umers, this is a chain whip. This is your uh, cassette socket. It's a uh, spline. It's going to fit in here just like that. Basically, it's going to thread off righty tighty, lefty loosey. But that's where your chain whip comes in because lefty loosey means this sucker is just going to keep spinning. So, this is uh, the ratchet that's going to work on that just like a socket will. The chain whip's going to go on here. I like to wrap it around the bigger sprocket so I get more oomph behind it. And see, just like that, it's going to lock in and give me the leverage that I need. Well, and I'm fumbling. Let drape a little more. There we go. Get her in there good. 
and she's loose. And she'll just unthread and that comes off. Now these are going to be different pieces. So you're going to have different gears come apart like that. And then you're going to have the main body. There's going to be some spacers in here. So if you're going to want to save this, just kind of put it to side like that. Like this is in relatively good shape. So I'm going to save it. It's going to go to the parts bin. It's going to get a zip tie through it, go to my parts bin. And now the new one is going to go on and you got to watch because there it's not just oh, throw it on there. You have an oddball almost like it's keyed. I guess you could call it keyed. So you have an oddball one on there and that's where it's going to line up. Uh, on some you'll have a little spacer here whereas if I wanted to go and run like a, a 10 speed I could pull that off and run 10 deep. So this spacer here allows for just a 9. So I'm going to put that on and then we're going to cut back and I'll show you about tightening it up. So, all right, they're all there. It's just a matter of running that in. Like to give it a good little snug. Nothing super crazy, but there we go. <clears throat> I have now upgraded this from a 23 to a 34. It's, it's still 11 to 34, as the other one was 11 to 23. So it's to give me a, a lot better power for getting up those hills, a lot deeper range there on the gears. So next up, we're gonna go up to the derailleur and we're gonna start playing with that now. So for this, you're gonna need some Allen keys. So first you're gonna have to figure out what size you need. Let's try the five. Yeah, and five works. First time go. I didn't set that shot up either, so. There we go. And she's out. Just gonna let her hang there. See if this is a five as well. Yep, that's a five as well. <clears throat> Clean this off a little bit with my hands. So with the derailleur mounts up there, basically want it to sit like that. So it's mimicking how the derailleur sits. And now there is no tab to line up like the wolf tooth and some others have a tab that'll line up this allows you this one kind of why i picked this one over the others it allows you an infinite adjustment on this so if you find you need to tweak it a little more um, and i saw that in some of the comments that people liked that feature about it that it allowed them that little bit of adjustment to it so we're gonna line it up so it's parallel with that. Come back here and put our derailleur on. Be 
careful to get our uh, detent up in there. Just going to hold it up in the way. Now is this ideal? No, I mean a long cage derailleur would be better. But you know what, for now, it should do the job. should get me out there doing it. And down the road, if I say, you know what, I really like this setup and I'm good with it. Or if the derailleur fails, I could then go with the long cage derailleur and we should be good to go. So I'm going to put the skewer back in the wheel, remount the wheel, and then uh, at that point we're going to have to break the chain install our new chain, get that set up, and run through the gears and make sure they're all good and they don't need any adjustments. All right, so the wheel's back on. I got everything on there, I got the skewer back on. I didn't mess with any of the adjustments or nothing yet. So let's see where we're at on this and everything seems pretty good so far in the very first gear. Turn on. Click it up one at a time. All right, there we go. And down. I think we got it. So there you go, we've got a derailleur hanger extension, we've got the uh, bigger range on the freewheel there, and I'm going to get into doing the chain, I'm not going to bore you with the chain video on setting up the chain, um, just know that it's going to be done. I've got another video on setting up the chain if you'd like to see that. So there you go, upgrade your bike to pull some hills, hope you enjoy. As always. Have fun and keep riding.